Now I wonder, if you were to move your AIO cooler from the top of your case to the front of your case, will it help with the CPU and GPU attempts? Let's find out. So the reason I'm, I'm doing this little experiment just now is it's basically just for my own benefit. Um, temperatures been pretty, well, say pretty high, as it's been highly average uh, here in Scotland recently in the past week or so, and things are a wee bit on the toasty side. Not not to the point that the AIO cooler's not doing its job, but um, I just kind of wondered if moving it to the front would, would help. Um, watched a few videos recently on YouTube, all the, the kind of usual tech guys, and there's been some interesting results, um, which actually shows it by putting it to the front, it does help. I think the reason being for that is that if your radiator's to the top of your case, uh, all the heat that's building up inside your case then rises up and just naturally heats up the coolant that's inside the, uh, inside the radiator before being exhausted out the top. But if you were to place it to the front of your PC, cold air from your room would be getting drawn through the cooler and then get inside your case. I know a lot of people are sitting saying that that probably increases the risk of the components inside your, your PC heating up and like your GPU and your memory and so on, your motherboard. Um, but yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm going to do this experiment is to see what, what setup's the best. Um, so currently at the moment I have the three intake fans in my PC drawing in cold air. Um, I have an exhaust to the back of the, the, the case and then I have the AIO cooler to the top with the two fans acting as exhaust. Also thinking as well that the, the two fans at the top on the cooler um, may be getting restricted just by the cooler itself. So I'm, I'm just kind of wondering that as well. If the AIO cooler is not there and it's just the two exhaust fans at the top, will the heat within the case get expelled quicker? So everything, everything today is going to be an experiment and... Uh, Fingers crossed it actually works by moving it to the front because to be honest, it's a waste of time if I <laughs> spend a lot of time doing it and it's actually shit, but we'll, we'll find out anyway. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fire up um, on the wrong screen. I'm going to fire up ADA64 and I'm going to run a, a wee 10 minute stress test on uh, the CPU itself. Not too bothered about the, the GPU. I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on the temperature on the GPU anyway. If it creeps up just just with basically what's going on inside the case, if the temperature inside the case is creeping up, you'd expect to see the GPU creeping up as well. But PC's been on for a while just now. You can see the temperatures there. Motherboard's sitting at 31. CPU's currently sitting at 42. GPU is 49. Uh, room temperature is about 24 degrees, I think. And the coolant temperature, I've just had a wee look down on the case, the coolant temperature is currently 35 degrees as well, so it's a wee bit kind of hotter than I expected to be, when the only things that's running at the moment is this, and OBS in the background. So yeah, um, what I'll do is I'll fire up the, the ADA64 stress test for 10 minutes, take a note of some of the results, Take your PC away, move the AIO cooler to the front, and I'll run the same test again. I'll come back to you, and uh, we can compare them and see see what you think. We'll just get us started right now, and I'll let it run for ten minutes. Right, that's the ten minutes past. We'll have a wee look what we're getting. I've actually loaded up hardware info. I think that's a wee bit more in depth. You can see the stress test still running at the moment. Um, it's shown CPU temperature of 63, um, but if we look at hardware info, we scroll down, we can see that the highest temperature it's hit so far is 74.8 on the, the CPU, um, and motherboard didn't get above 31, and the graphics card highest I hit was 52.4. So we'll keep a wee note of these, um, these temperatures. I'll move the AIO to the front, as I says, it's going to do, and I'll rerun the test, and I'll, I'll get back to you. Two hours later. That took a lot longer than I was expected. Um, so that says now move the 
yeah, I cooler to the front of the PC. Um, gave it a wee clean out while I was there as well, getting rid of some of the dust and so on. So what I can now do is uh, jump back over to the Ada 64 software and I'll fire it up right now and get the test done on that again for the 10 minutes. So I'll start that just now and I'll come back to you when we're near the 10 minute mark. Right, that's us just coming up for about the 10 minute mark. So if we jump across, we can see here, 10 minutes bang on. Um, the highest, highest temperature the CPU hit was 73 degrees. Um, the motherboard, 32 degrees. I think that's up a wee touch. And uh, the graphics card uh, maximum was 52.2. Um, the room temperature is still 24 degrees, that's not changed, and the coolant temperature is uh, 36 degrees. So I'll grab a couple of screenshots and we'll compare them and uh, see how the results are. Right, so popping up on the screen just now, you should see up the top is the temperatures of the CPU with the AIO mounted to the top, and then below is the AIO mounted uh, in the front. You can see there's about a, a two degree difference. Um, so that, it, it does work if you have that at the front. Um, what I'll now do is show you the graphics card. Same again, the top top snapshot you're seeing is from the AIO being positioned at the top and the bottom snapshot is uh, positioned at the front. And th you can see from that that the, the graphics card temperature doesn't change at all. So that's that's a big plus point. Um, I think a lot of people would probably be under depression. Your um, your graphics card would maybe run a bit hotter. Um, you may be seen in the videos. Um, I think the motherboard was running like one degree hotter. Um, but was it worth the hassle of taking all the fans out, moving the I/O, making sure everything was all working again? Probably not. Um, maybe if you've got a more aggressive fan curve. Um, you would notice a, a better difference in the temperatures. I have my fans just setting a kind of balance thing. I like my fans to be as quiet as possible, so that might help. But yeah, that that, that was it. It was it was just a wee test to see if actually moving it to the front um, works, and and it does. It knocks off a couple of degrees. It's still very very muggy and very warm here just now in Glasgow and in Scotland. So I think when the normal temperatures return, there might be a a, a bigger difference between the temperatures. Um, and I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, just looking at the, the fluid temperature, um, the coolant temperature just now, um, that's still sitting a couple of couple of degrees lower than it normally, normally runs at. So that's another plus point as well. All, all helps in the long run. So yeah, that's it guys. Just a just a wee a wee test video. Maybe it's um, it's helped you um, make a decision where you want to mount your AIO. Um, as always, leave a like and subscribe if you can, guys. And uh, I'll. Hopefully I get around to putting some other videos on as soon as I can. See you later.